Hi, welcome to this system. We are on Article Linux 18.11.2, soon to be released in mid-November. And we are going to start with one, well, the first video is this one, and we're going to uh, explain in lots of tutorials probably everything you need to know about Plasma. So if you would like to share any tips and tricks, please let me know if you say this, you should mention this or you should mention that theme, etc. Icons, cursors, anything, you just mention it to me. Now, why or where do I get Plasma, right? So you go to your Firefox or your Vivaldi or your Google Chrome or your Chromium and you boot it up. Now this one is the one without all the sign-ins and everything so no tabs are opened and the other two are for my two accounts so you look for article linux and you find here a link you find the download link and we know or you know that there are different kind of isos to download and article linux which is xfce open box i3 article linux d is the base jumping you off of letting leaving you in a terminal a black screen where you install any desktop well 11 desktops to be precise and this is the Linux b the latest newest invention invention uh yeah i accept eh? yeah so you can either download it which is not exactly our intention that you should do that Linux b is and the b stands for build you need to build your uh, proper system and at this point in time, it's 10.12, you see, and today it's the 7th November. So the thing that's online is always going to be old, obsolete. What do you need to do then? Well, there is another website. We have websites, different websites, so check them out. But this one is going to be about Article Linux B. I want to build my own Plasma right now. The latest one, the newest one. What's more? I'd like to add stuff to it. I'd like to put elements to it. So we have the build your own ISO plasma, or we could also choose for a minimal version. Now I'm gonna go for the maximum version because I want to make tutorials about different kind of uh, applications. So this is the first video. I'm gonna get build myself plasma, not a minimal one. I'm gonna build this one and then burn it on the ISO. Well, sorry. Let's build the ISO, burn the ISO the USB and boot from the USB and build my own SSD. And just recently now I have made a tutorial about um, this bay you could buy. It's an, a system to quickly switch between SSDs. So one time I'm working on Arch Linux and the other time I will be working on Arch Linux B Plasma and the other time I'll be working on Arch Cinnamon and so on and so on. Just switch the SSD in there and as simple as that and um, everything explained here in a little video about it. So that's what I'm hardware wise have here. Now I need to build this ISO. So I'm gonna follow tutorial, this one. And it's gonna be from this website but easiest is to clone this one. So control C. Let's put you here and let's work on the desktop, right? That was a good thing to do. Control Shift V, Git clone everything that's coming from here. Okay, done. Now I have a folder with all the scripts I need to have later on an, uh, as an ISO, right? It says change packages x86, 640 if you want to. That's in here. Yes, I want to. Let's make this a lot bigger. So keep off of the things that are from Arch ISO, obviously. Uh, if you know what you're doing with the video drivers, you can. But the fun starts actually somewhere down here. So Catfish is not going to be installed. That's what this means. Change in Sublime Text. That's where we're on. Sublime Text. Change plain text into Perl. Everything dark is not installed. It has a hashtag in front of it. It will not be installed, right? So Firefox, I want Firefox and so on. All the things I want are in there, but sometimes I do want to uh, have a game, right? 
I want to explain Luthers later, Sauerbraut, Sonetic, and why not Steam and Steam native as well. So I'm making a little bit of gaming computer as well. So it's easy as that. Add elements that are in the Arch repositories. You can push anything, put anything in here if it's coming from the Arch Linux repo. So everything else I leave as is, it's okay. And I'm gonna save this thing. And then we are going to go one level up. So I've done line two, change packages x86 64 if you want to so we've added some games to it run script 30 then installation script there is script 30 open terminal let's put it here and then say run number 30. that's basically it you can now uh, go have uh, to drink something to eat something you can walk away not before of course you give here your password your root password and now it's up to the computer to do its job. All depends on the hardware, the CPU, the memory, etc. You know, the drill. Newer hardware will be faster in making an ISO, but eventually, right? Eventually, and this is the download, so the download speed is also important. But eventually, you'll have an ISO, and that's the one I'm gonna burn on USB. Put it on an SSD, really SSD, and film everything we do and start our series of tutorials of Plasma. I'm gonna pause the video here. So it finished finally. Remember, we decided to add a lot of games. It took us, or it will take us, 4.1 gigabytes to have this Alcolinux B Plasma. So, doesn't matter really. It's your ISO. Doesn't matter if it's big. If you like to have all these games on the ISO, that's your choice. So we go to Arc Linux B out. There's a folder in your home directory and it's called Arc Linux B Plasma 18.11.2. So building an ISO is always going to be on the, the last, the latest Arc Linux ISO. At this point in time, this is the clock. We have version 18.11.2 online. So it's um, a spin-off, you could say, from Arco Linux. We build it ourselves and it's a Plasma rather than XFC, Openbox and i3. So this is the thing we have created. So let's try it out. We have this Super F7 on our Arco Linux uh, system where we, are, where we have VirtualBox, we launch it. Nothing is installed yet, so I need to set everything. So, okay, let's see. Um, well, let's do what I always do, right? I make a template at Linux, Arch Linux 64, good, next. 16 gigabytes means half of it to, or less half of it, to guest and host, so divide it between the, both of them. And then dynamically allocated, I usually take around 20, but since this is a bigger ISO, I better take 30 or maybe 40, I don't know, 4 gigabytes. I think it's 30 would be enough. So create, and then the details. These are the details, so you can quickly glance at it. But first the settings, let's go further in the settings. We can change or should change the processor. We have one CPU, no, we have eight CPU, so 50-50. Enable the PAA and the next thing here. While, for instance, with Inix E and X of I, you have the possibility to show elements of your hardware. So that's okay. Display 50-50 more or less. Enable 3D, it's okay, and then it's done. For me, this is enough as a template. Then I'll clone this thing and say this time I'm going to install and test out Plasma. Arc Linux B Plasma, my own creation, right? You've decided what goes on the ISO and that's why we've put it out there, this knowledge, this Arc Linux B. You can be master of the, or the creator of the ISO. Put anything on it you want. There are some messages we have here in a virtual box to so get rid of them, read them, and then click here. So you don't see them anymore. Control F is another message. Do not show, read, 
and switch and then enter and another message read and click it away so we're going to install Arc Linux B Plasma in a virtual box just by example I will be installing it on SSD later on it's just for the video so as you see nobody is well there are still people surprised about this but starting with Arc Linux B we use XFC as the delivery system so nothing to see here it's just a, a gateway it passed through so we need to install it to actually see it you choose you know the drill but I'm going over it choose your language right and then if you like you choose if the zone is not correct set the correct zone system language if it's not correct change if you want other numbers and dates locale it's now United States change it here or next in my case I'll just say give me the Belgian keyboard that's the most important thing for me since this is a clean install on VirtualBox you don't see all the other options we have so it's just erase or manual partition in this case and then next my name is Eric Arc Linux B Plasma Gaming right I've put some games on it and that's it that's all you do and then you wait till the system has unsquashed it all the four gigabytes needs to be unwrought unzipped uncompressed and that's what he's doing now and then some processes later so I guess I better um, pause here let's see if I can get out of here like this okay here is my show window here it is okay so pausing and making this big again right control F that's your button right control and then F for full screen and you have this virtual box that's in well using all the resolution you have on your screen let's pause for now there we are we have the screen the end screen of calamares and we we are going to restart now speech is broken now reboot rebooting i don't know what he's going to do now but if on virtual box and you see this thing and start re reboot and you have to wait and to wait and never wait at all Control f and i shut it down quickly and easily power down machine boom done and you'll never see it again on SSD or VirtualBox but of course let's shut it down again let's get rid of, our, of this optical drive this virtual ISO so if it's out of here then it's going to put like the regular SSD giving you the grub don't touch anything five seconds later it's going to put in Arc Linux B Linux like it should on any SSD or hard disk later on there you go so we're logging in this is a welcome screen we recognize up here we see we've just one thing plasma and go for it let's look for our games and then end the video there so next up are videos and explanations of plasma so we have this as a result there are some games in there we have FPS here that uses uh, Sauerbraten, yeah, Steam and Steam, Xenotic and SDL and GLX, uh, Lutris as well. That was it, I think. Those were the things I've installed. And all the rest is still games, but it's games from Plasma. So all kind of games. So a lot of hours to waste if you want to play all these games and be a master at them. But uh, these guys here come from our choices these have uh, been installed due to the packages file so there we go we have now an ISO to um, to burn the ISO well let's include it in the video shut down shut down and let me get and grab a um, USB 
All right, got myself a USB. We go to accessories and we go to USB image writer or stick formatter. In this case, we want to have a bootable USB stick. So I choose this one. I am going to put my USB in, it's in. Tell him where the Arc Linux B built new, the out is, so the ISO, point to the ISO, 4.3 gig, so be sure your USB has 4.3 gigabyte. These days they all do. I have 30 gig here, it says, I mean, you're right, couldn't be any easier. This Mint stick comes from uh, Linux Mint. I have been using it for uh, around 90 different distros and ISOs and versions. Uh, you can see that on Eric Dubois LPE when creating Sardi icons for all these distros. So that's it basically for this video. I'm burning this ISO to uh, USB. I have my bay ready. I have a new SSD ready going to install Plasma on it and let's start with tutorials about Plasma. All right, cheers.